Hello. We have a really interesting person here today. It's Mr. Bob Vaunch. And what is it you do, Bob? I play professional cornhole. So you play professional cornhole. Now, you just won a tournament just recently that's it's a big tournament, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, Las Vegas. We uh, run a pro division. And we, said we won an invitation to 4th of July. We go to Philadelphia and play in that tournament. Oh, my goodness. Now, if you're going to be in Philadelphia playing a tournament, is that going to be just like a, a little local tournament, or is this a big tournament? Oh, it's a big tournament. It's <clears throat> There's only the top eight teams that won all these tournaments will play in it. And so if we want to watch that tournament, how can we watch that tournament? It will be live on ESPN. And that's ESPN, right? That's 4th of July at 1 o'clock. Oh, wow. Now, where do you... Where do you live? I live here in Madison. In Madison, Madison Indiana. Indiana. So what got you into doing the tournaments? What, what made you decide you wanted to do that? I've always played horseshoes. And when the game came along, I wasn't interested. But everybody quit playing horseshoes. They're not as much. Right. So I love sports. So I just kind of picked it up. And it's the same thing in a way because the, the same principle. Yeah, the same principles apply to cornhole tournaments as it does to horseshoes. If you're going to hit that target, you've got to throw just right. Yeah. So, uh, how many times do you actually just automatically? Put in a get, hole? Yep, yeah, how many? <clears throat> I've played singles before, and I've put 17 in a row in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I still lost the tournament. <laughs> no way! The guy that played ended up getting like 20 some. Wow. But you, Not you the are tournament, very, but the game. Right. You are very good at this, though, right? Not bad. Well, you have sponsors. Yes, i got three sponsors. Yes. And then you also travel to do this. Yeah, I'll go anywhere, just about anywhere. I went all the way to California, right. to Wisconsin, South Carolina, Florida. What would, you, what would you tell somebody if they're looking at this and thinking, you know, I really would like to do this? What would you tell them? What should they... It's a blast. Just have fun and enjoy it. Because when you get into it, there's a lot of pressure and you get aggravated easy. But you gotta you gotta enjoy enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Now what does your wife think about you traveling all the time doing this? You go play and then she has to does she stay home or does she get no, to go she, with you? She goes probably ninety percent of the time with me. That's awesome. Because it and it helps great. you too. Oh great, she goes great with support. You. Yes. I mean she she backs me up and always has. Everything oh. I've ever did. She's that's great. That you don't always have that. No, you don't. And you and I think that's important. Yes, so, it is. Wonderful. Well, now, with all this, with the cornhole tournaments and stuff, how many do you enter in the region here, close by? Like we to play in a, like these tournaments, right. the, the world will be coming up in August. Right. So you got to play like six regionals, two nationals. And then uh, some majors and stuff. So you got to play certain ones. And we don't really play around here. Like the closest place I'll go to is Louisville. Right. To play regional. Mm -hmm. But I'll travel wherever I have to sometimes. So you're trying to qualify to go to the world? Right. How much? I've already made that. Oh, really? Yeah. So where are you going to have to go to play that? Uh, South Carolina. Oh, my God. When are those? That's August. Third and third and fourth, I believe. First part of August, you'll be in in South Carolina, and you'll be playing that. And tournament. that will be on ESPN too. But now, oh. I might not be. You got to. They'll take the top. See. Oh, now, the top ones. Yeah. Now Philadelphia, when I go Fourth of July, that's a national. So I'll be playing a national before the pro invitation. Right. So I'll be playing, and they take the top, six top singles and six doubles. Will be on ESPN. Oh my goodness. So if I can make them, I'll be on there again. That's awesome. Now, do you play by yourself or do you have a partner? I, I play both. I do singles, doubles, and then I play senior doubles. And then we'll play a crew team. In Philadelphia, I'll be playing on a crew team. Oh my. I played on a crew team with guys and we played on ESPN. Now, are they all from here too or are they from different places? Uh, Close, like Danny, he's from Indiana, my partner. My, that's my regular partner, Danny right. Seals. Mm -hmm. And then, like the crew guys, they're in Kentucky. And then my senior double partner, he's from Virginia. Oh, my goodness. So we How just did, team up. So you just team up, you practice, but yet you don't practice together. Right. Which you don't really need to with that 
sport, do you? Right. You just have to be really good when you get together. Right. You well, just got to throw the same bag. That's the biggest thing on doubles. Right. Like in the same bag. Because in most of these tournaments, you bring your own bag. Oh, my God. Now, that's interesting because you, you throw a lot. Right. So how often do you have to replace the bag after you've practiced? Do you, do you wear them out very often? They last a long time. Really? Yeah, years. Oh, wow. Well, that's that's good because that can get expensive. Right. Well, i got a sponsor. Mother Shucker sponsors me. And then I've got other bags that people's given me right. to try out. I probably got 30, 30 or 40 sets of bags. Oh my goodness. Well, you're so not going to run out for a while. No, I've got, I'm in good shape. Now, do you ever play against your wife? Yes. Who wins there? <laughs> me most of the time. But she'll come out, like if I, if I want to practice, it's kind of hard by yourself. It is. And she'll like give herself 16 points. Uh huh. And then I got to try to beat her. And but that's good. You need that pressure, right? You, it, because if she, if I have one bad throw, then she's gonna, right? She's gonna beat me. Oh, that's not good. No, you can't let that happen, <laughs> can you? <laughs> no. Now, if they're looking to hear you on the on the TV when they're actually showing these events, what do they call you? They don't call you Bob. What do they call you? Uh, I got a nickname from a friend Keith Blair gave me. What was up in Wisconsin, and he calls me. BTB. That's Big Time Bob. Big so now, Time Bob. I, now that's just following me you know, when I right. play tournaments. Now Jefferson County, Indiana can say that they're the home of Big Time Bob. Yeah. So that's, that's, pretty, right. that's pretty good. That can be a, a tourism thing for us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so we won't tell them where you live so they don't drive by. <laughs> we'll, keep that, we'll keep that down. Now when we went to Las Vegas and played doubles. Yes. In singles, I made it on ESPN too. I ended up getting third place. Well, that's okay. That's, you got that's third. Pretty good. Yeah. Yes. For a big tournament like that. Right. So. Well, we're hoping that you win first. Oh, that'd be nice. It would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. Now, with with these events, there's prizes that go with these events that you enter, and some of them are as little as what? Oh, uh, a hundred dollars. Right. All the way up to when we go to that, that pro the invitation. Most? There's eight teams going to be playing for twenty five thousand dollars. Oh wow! So we're all in the we're all in the money right by making it. So depending on where you finish and how much. Right. So you'll make something by going. Right. But you're hoping you get the twenty five thousand for winning. That's it was twenty five thousand paid out. So oh, it'll, gotcha. it'll probably be eight thousand for first place. Oh, I got you. I understand now. Yes. That's pretty good dope. Well, pretty good money. Yeah, that is. That's a pool. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, well, all right. Is there, is there anything we can tell people as to how to join a club for the tournaments and? Yeah, there's different clubs out there, and there's even just tournaments. But right. you can go. What I play is the ACL American Cornhole League. Yes. And you can get on and Google them. Yes. And you can join. Yes. And that's what it, it'll take up so many people. And there'll be 256 qualified to become a pro. So depending on how you finish, you start, like I said, you got to play regionals, nationals, and, and that stuff. And then you get seated. That's how you get seated at these tournaments. Wow. So they need to go online. Yes. To the ACL. Yep. Okay. And then register and then start playing and yep. practice a lot. Right. And, and there's different leagues. There's other ones besides the ACL. Right. So they can look them up. Oh, wow. Well, is there anything else we need to tell everybody about cornhole tournaments and playing the game? And what, would, what would be your biggest tip if they were getting ready to learn how to play? To throw underhanded, overhanded, sideways? Oh, oh, under. <laughs> but if you can, I used to always take a step. Yes. And I had an accident. I fell 18 feet and I cracked four vertebrae and shattered oh, my ankle. So wow. I don't take a step no more. Oh. But my wife tried to get me for years to do it, but I've always done it. Right. But somebody starting out, I would recommend not to take a step. Try to stand there and throw because there's le less movement, it's muscle memory. Yes. So you're better off, if you can, not to take a step, throw a flat bag and put it in the hole. Okay. Don't take a step, people. <laughs> That's going to throw some of them off. Yeah. But if you're just starting and you start that way, right. it'd if be you're, much if better. If you're a bowler, there's a lot of guys that are good bowlers, so they're used to it. Yes. So yes, just if, whatever feels comfortable for you. Right. But try, try. to not move. Try not to.
but if you do, there's guys that does move and they're real good. Right. So. Well, that gives them an option, two right. different ways to learn to play. Yeah. Wow, Bob. Well, thanks so much for being here. This is wonderful. Well, I appreciate you inviting me. Well, you're welcome. We'll have to have you back after the tournament. Okay. And that tournament's in July, right? The July 4th. 4th. All right. So. 1 o'clock live on ESPN. You guys tune in to ESPN on July the 4th at 1 o'clock and watch Big Time Bob, see if he wins. <laughs> so, well, we thank our sponsors for making all this possible, and we really appreciate you watching.